We're live and getting ready for what should be another great NFL matchup. This is the longest ongoing rivalry in the NFL today, the Packers and the Bears. Yeah, no matter how they've been playing against other teams, they always seem to match up pretty evenly when they play each other. Hi, and welcome everyone to another great NFL football telecast brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Al Michaels, joined by John Madden. The offensive line will have to step it up because this guy's looking to make some play. He knows every trick in the book. So you'll see him setting up guys, making them think he's going outside, then rip to the inside to get into the backfield. Thomas Jones will have to be at his best against that defense if he's hoping to help carry his team to a victory. They'll also try to get him out of the backfield, hit him on a few screens and dump offs. He's a threat whenever he has the ball in his hands. So don't be surprised to see him touch the ball over 20 times throughout today's game. Look at him down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. They're lined up for the kickoff. Should be a return here. From the seven. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. Let's take a look at the first coach in our EA Sports coaches close up. Lovey Smith was a two time All American defensive back in college. From 96 to 2000, he was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers linebackers coach. Barnett gets right in there and brings him down. EA Sports coach Joseph continues with Mike Sherman now in his fifth season with the Packers. The defense has struggled at times, especially in the secondary. But the defensive line can clog up the middle very well. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package off his back foot. And he dropped it. That one hit him in the hands, but he just couldn't hang on. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's drawn up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Green Bay lines up with seven guys in the secondary. It's away the off-balance throw. Two in a row just dropped. That's just a frustrating thing to have happen. Chapman looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense just about ready to go as they take the field for their first possession. One of those matchups here today, John, a great running team against the defense that's had a lot of trouble stopping the run. Their front seven needs to get more aggressive. They need to get the jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside foot back so they can take off in the middle. Rowan. And he makes the grab. Jill Arrington down on the field. I caught up with Coach Smith as his team was coming onto the field. He said they need to be able to finish the game strong. They've had some problems becoming complacent after getting a lead, and now he assured me that will not happen in this one. All right, Jill, thank you for the update. Dropping back under pressure. This one falls incomplete, so the pass won't reach the receiver. And sometimes when you're trying to throw away from the defender, you just underthrow the ball. Driver moves in motion. Drops back. Rolling right. Closing in. Looking for the long completion down the left side. And he's ridden out at the 26. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First and 10. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. The Bears, ball on. It looks to be all right, though. He'll come out at least for a play or two, and Jill will fill us in in a moment. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. Thought he might challenge this one, and sure enough, it'll be reviewed. The call in the field is questionable. They might decide that they made an incorrect call and reverse it. 
I thought he was down, and then the ball popped loose, but it's difficult to tell from this angle. And mostly the official is seeing what we're seeing. So it's inconclusive. The call will stand, since he needs to be 100% sure to overturn a call. It was a close call, but there just wasn't enough evidence to reverse it. This is one of these cases where it's better to be safe than sorry. He'll pass on first down. He's looking with the pass. He finds his man. Roman pulls him down at the 46. Good read finding the single coverage in the secondary. It's first and 10. Here's Jill Arrington with the injury report. The trainer gave me some good news. He did sustain an injury, but it does not appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. All right, Jill, thank you for the update. Pass play here on first down. Throws this one off balance. Can't wrap him up. Carroll records the stop at the 41-yard line. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Passing on first down. Off-balance throw. And it's caught. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, two-ton truck pulling a trailer. Look for your guy in the corner of the end zone and let it rip. First and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Jones. Play action. Pressure. Fumble. Loose ball. It's scooped up. I'm trying to do too much and ends up turning it over. Give this one a shot. It's first and ten. Only one man back. Throwing on first down. Rowing. Pass ball's incomplete. Not a bad pass, John. The receiver just couldn't come up with it. I'm not sure why he dropped that one. The quarterback delivered it right to him. The Bears come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Drops the interception. He couldn't come up with the interception. The quarterback felt a little pressure on that one. And it looked like he fired the ball out there before he wanted to. The Bears come out in a dime packet. Green setting up play action. Ooh, nearly picked off. Two tipped passes in a row. Yeah, and that's an adjustment the quarterback has to make. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. They'll stop this one where it went out. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. Grossman using split back. Pass play here on first down. Knocked down. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. Only one man back. Dropping back. He surveys the field. Puts everything behind this one. He'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got in, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Drops back. Rowing. Nearly intercepted. He makes a great play by breaking the pass. The quarterback can get a little excited out there at times. Maybe that's what caused him to rush the throw a bit. Jones, the deep man, with the carry. Barnett takes him down at the 30-yard line. About seven yards there. See if you can't get the first down in the air. Fifth play of this drive. So they need about three here. Green Bay looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. He hits his receiver. McKenzie records the stop at the 20. Now this is one heck of a play. Look out. You're in a hole here on third down. 
and they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Tucks it away. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. This is where it really counts. Use your best play and put the ball in there. Jones in the backfield. Going to the left. Harris makes the tackle at the 13. Minimal game there. It looks like he's going to go to the sideline for at least a couple of plays. to get to the 10 to convert. Thomas. Sharper takes him down at the one. Putting together a nice drive here. And they're frustrating this defense in the process. Two times they've converted on third down. The ball almost on the goal line, less than a yard away. collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. He tried to scramble but couldn't find any running room. That's one of those plays where it might have been better just to throw the ball away. Hand it off. Dropped in the backfield for sure. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play and the runner is stuck. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good enough. At the end of the first quarter, it's not enough. Chicago, zero. Green Bay, zero. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. This is it. Give the ball to your halfback. Let him find a seam and get into the end zone. They're just three yards away from the end zone. They line up in the I formation. Drops back. Goes to the end zone. Almost on the Got away with that bad throw on third down, John. The defender did a great job of breaking up the touchdown. But still, he should have had himself a pick. Paul Edinger comes in to attempt a 21-yard field goal. The kick is up. The kick is good. The Bears are set to kick it deep. And this one's a short kickoff. From the 18-yard line. Their last drive ended with a three and out as the offense comes out onto the field again. So they have first and ten here. They give it to the halfback. Missed tackle. Green makes the tackle at the 45. Watch it here. He makes a pretty good adjustment and he brings him down. He's got the body control and agility to make up for the mistake on his angle of pursuit. They'll pass on first down. With the throw. The pass ball's incomplete. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. The backs are lined up in an eye. The blitz is on. Pressure coming. Throwing. Tillman records the stop at the 45-yard line. That pass was right on the mark. Yep. He just looked up and crap, the pass was right there. Those are the kind of passes your receivers love. Gives the ball off. Green brings him down at the 35-yard line. A smart coach would call this defense. It's first and ten. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. 
He was really hit hard on that run. Yeah, you talk about your depleter. That's what happened there. He unloaded, and he got a depleter. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. They give it to the halfback, Robinson, with the tackle at the 31. Decent game there, but he's going to head to the sideline for a blow. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. The throw, and he hits his target. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. We're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. him down behind the line. You should stop him with this play. And if they can get inside before they'll convert for a first down. So they're now inside the 20, down by three. Odom takes him down at the 16. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. And if they can get inside before, they'll convert for a first down. They come out of the nickel. Flings it to the outside. And it's complete. Drop behind the line. Oh, this is a couple. Time to call a special team play. Longwell lines up for the field goal to try to put them on the board for the first time in the game. And it's up. It's good. The Packers draw even. And they're ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the eight-yard line to the 20. They're ready to go again after that last drive ended with a field goal. So we have first and ten here. Keeps it. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. Doesn't get much behind it. He finds his man. Diving tackle to bring him down. John, he didn't have enough time to set his feet. He still got away a pretty good throw. He's one of those guys who really doesn't lose a lot on his throws when they force him to move around in the pocket. He's always in pretty good throwing position, even on throws off his back foot like that. With the throw, this pass is incomplete. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep him off balance on passing down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Off his back foot. He hits his receiver. Harris pulls him down at the 42-yard line. Can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. Run the football. A good running game will really open up the pass. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. Jones, the lone setback. Dropping back to pass on first down with a deep throw to the right side. Incomplete. One thing you want to prevent is the defense letting the quarterback get into a rhythm, especially in a hurried situation. So they may try and throw a few things at him, like a blitz or a change of coverage, and see if he can adjust to it quickly. Grossman out of the gun. Drops back, looking for a receiver. Gets away the off-balance throw. The pass ball's incomplete. The defense can't suffer a letdown because they've done a great job the last two plays to force this situation. One more great play but should get him the ball back with some time to work with. Big passing down right here. This is what it's all about. And this is the seventh play of this drive. The two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Gets the pass off. Sharper with the tackle at the 24-yard line. So they're able to pick up another first down. This offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Passing on first down. Looking for an option. Rolling right. Rolling. Almost done. 
Barnett was working in the middle and almost had the interception. I think he was invisible out there. It wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. They line up in the I formation, looking to run it here. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Jones couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Looking downfield, gets rid of it. Incomplete. A little bit long, overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, then you'll see an overthrow like that. And we'll see if the kicker can come through with a field goal here in the first half. Right. Edinger and the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. Oh, it's a fake. He surveys the field. Under pressure. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw, and he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one, and everything did. Joe, they'll go with a play fake. Throws it. Room to run. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Bears. Grossman puts points on the board with that pass. Still, they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. And the extra point is good. The Bears are lined up for the kickoff. Short kickoff. From the 20. The 30. On their last position, they came away with a field goal. Let's see what happens this time around. It's first and ten. Far out of the gun. Pass play here on first down with the pass. Right to him. The 40, the 30, the 20. A lot of space in front of him. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown. And that's Green just Bay. a tremendous pass play for the score. Yeah, that guy created some room and showed good body control to maintain control of that one. The kicker lines up for the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. The pack knotted up. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Nice distance. From the eight. They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. The defense doesn't want to play too soft underneath, because this guy might throw to his back out in the flat. If they want to keep this thing going into halftime, they have to be aware of things like that. Quarterback back in the shotgun with the pass, and the catch is made. Roman makes the tackle at the 34. Nice read, finding the receiver who is in single coverage. Going to the air on first down. Looking for a receiver, launches it deep to the left. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 36. Look for the open guy out there and get it to him quickly. Directing traffic. That line up in the quarter defense. Surveying the field. Throws it. He's there for the catch. Harris makes the stop at the 14-yard line. Watch that game play. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. So they have first and 10 here. 
Only one man back. Throwing on first down. To the end zone. This pass is incomplete. So after the first two quarters of play, we're all tied up. And we're back. Here are the halftime stats as we get set for the second half kickoff. It's on its way. From the 16. The 30. The Packers will start this drive from the 35. Give this one a try. First and 10. Green, the deep back. Going to the air on first down. Gets the pass off. Oda cuts him down at the 43. Franks continues to be a reliable target. That's his third catch of the game. Second and one coming up. They come out of the nickel. Dropping back. Rowing. And he hits his target. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. Packers. He gets a great block right here to spring him for the touchdown. I tell you, he takes the defender right out of his shoes that time. Time to call the special team play. And it's on its way. The point after is good. Starting to get into the groove, that's 14 consecutive points. It sure seems like they've figured out the best way to move the ball against this defense. Should be a return here. From the six. The Bears will start to drive from the 21-yard line. It's first and ten. Grossman scans the defense from the gun. He gets the count. Baja Biamila stops him for negative yardage. Well, some valuable yardage on that run through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. Or bounce it out, looking for a little more room to the outside. Looking for an option. Throws it. And he hits his target. They'll move the sticks for that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. First and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him, surveying the field, looking long down the right side of the field. Incomplete. Aggressive play calling that time, but now it's second down. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. They'll go from the I formation. Looking for a receiver with the throw. Incomplete pass. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means your offense is making big plays when they need them. Thought he had something deep, but couldn't get that one to the receiver. Fourth down. Now, a smart coach would punt the ball here. Chapman is the deep return man. Here's the kick. From the 17, the 30, the 40. He had an outstanding return. Sometimes as a coverage team, it's easier to over-pursue. And if you do that, you end up running right by the guy you're supposed to be tackling. This is it out to the left. Dives and makes the tackle. They went with a running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Only one man in the backfield. Give it to the halfback. Big pop that time. Boom. Now that was big time football. Trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Drops back. 
Gets the pass off, and this pass is completed. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Call this defense here. First and ten. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. Breaks free. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. This is what I would call in this situation. He gets the count. Odom records the stop at the 29-yard line. He was fortunate to get anything on that floor. And that's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. Green didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Longwell will try to come through with the field goal here. And it's up. Come through the uprights and good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. He got all of that one. From the two-yard line. To the 20. Missed tackle. So the offense takes over, still trying to figure out this defense. Try to catch a defense snapper. Take the run and look to send it deep. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. Closing in, steps up into the pocket. Wrapped up and brought down. Hunt gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Joe, the lone back, dropping back. He surveys the field, gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Gross found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there. Green Bay lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Throws this one off balance. Almost picked off. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. They play a very aggressive style of defense, so that'll happen a lot to an opposing offense. Chapman lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the punt. From the 23. He had some room, but couldn't get that one block to let him go the distance. One or two more blocks would have sprung him. Gets the toss to the left. Azuma breaks the play up in the backfield. So they're unsuccessful in that attempt to the outside. And maybe they ought to try and run around the other tackle. Because that side of the field didn't give up anything on that one. Chicago lines up in the 46. Pressure slings it out to the left. He hits his receiver. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Donald Driver is in there for the score. Brett Favre has now beaten his defense with three touchdown passes. Longwell comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. And now, John, they're just dominating with 24 unanswered points. Back by the way they're playing right now, they could score 124. Good distance. From the 10-yard line. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. The Bears have not fared well on first down when they've gone to the air today, John. Very low percentage and a low average. Which is one reason they're trailing in the game. Second and long. Grossman starts out of the shotgun. He's looking, launching this one deep down the middle. Incomplete pass. Big play chance, but the defender was there to knock it away. I really like this defense. They're very disciplined, whether it's keeping containment on running plays, are following their receiver all the way down the field in pass coverage. 
throws it. Great pass. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. The Bears have had a tough time throwing on first down today. Yeah, he's not completing too many. Roman with the stop at the 40-yard line. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old-fashioned drop back and pass, and it's working. The Bears haven't done the job on first down when they've gone to the air. When you see that, and then you look at the scoreboard, you kind of get an idea of what they need to do better. Sixth play of this drive. Off-balance throw. The defense has it. He was looking for single coverage, got it, but the throw was off target. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. The running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. And he's taken down to the backfield. It's second down and a long way to go. At the end of three, the score is 27-10. Have the ball and a big lead as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second and long coming up here. Quarterback back in the shotgun. They're coming with the blitz. Drops the intercept. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. The quarterback has all the tools to look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. Green. Erlock brings him down at the 17. Time to call the special team play. Three plays. They lost yardage. Here comes the punter. Here's the kick. From the 50. And the offense getting ready to come back on the field after a decent return. First and 10. Grossman with split back. Pass play here on first down. Surveying the field with the throw. He has it. Harris takes him down at the 21. Run this play and finish off the drive. Find that end zone. Key series here as they're in the red zone trying to stay in the game. Navy records the stop at the 21 yard line. Okay, okay now you're close. Get even closer with this pass. They'll need to reach the 11-yard line to convert for the first down. The Packers come out on a nickel Packer. He's looking with the pass right to him. And he's ridden out at the 13-yard line. Look here. He does two things perfectly on this play. One, he watches the ball all the way into his hands to make the catch. And two, he shows great awareness and gets both feet down in bounds. <laughs> That's a nice-looking play. Sharper pulls him down at the six. Jones picks up about five on that one, moving the chains in the process. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. They've really been getting stopped inside the red zone so far. Navy takes him down at the six-yard line. Run this play and finish off the drive. Find that end zone. Six yards to go for a touchdown. The coach has to be a little disappointed that his team has to settle for field goals when they move the ball into their opponent's red zone. He dropped it. He made the right read, ran the right route, but he ended up with two hands full of air. Doesn't get much behind it. Desmond Clark is in there for the score. He slips behind the secondary and got open for the touchdown. Now that's just how they practiced it. They go over this play all the time to practice. They use it a few times in just about every game. But let me tell you, most of the time it's successful just like that. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's on its way. The point answer is good. The Bears have just made it a two-score game. This team can put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole.
Decent kick. We should have a return. From the 15-yard line. Green Bay already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. First and ten. They line up in the I formation. Throwing on first down. Throws it. And the catch is made. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chain. This is a good defensive ball. It's first and ten. To carry it. Erlacher pulls him down at midfield. This is a good one to call. They have to get the ball inside the 42 to convert. Green, the lone back. Barr sends a man in motion. Aimed it off to the back. What a move. Odom with the tackle at the 42. You should stop him with this play. So they have first and 10 here. Lucy, Lucy. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Green. Burlock makes the tackle at the 40. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. Hands it off. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Green couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Hands it off again. Robinson makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. Time to call the special team play. To try to make their offense start from inside their own five. Time to call the special team play. Here's the punt. The defense is trying to force a turnover, which would put an end to this game right now. First and ten. Off his back foot. He hits his receiver. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. Not the best throw we've ever seen from him, but very effective nonetheless. That one could have spelled trouble. You got to take your time, make your read, set your feet before you get rid of it. Throwing the ball off your back foot like that could lead to some bad throws and some costly interception. It's first and ten. Jones, the deep man, passing on first down, gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from you. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. He's looking. Dropped for a huge loss this time. It'll be third and long after the big loss. I tell you, the quarterback can only run around there so long before he has to throw it away. He should never lose that kind of yardage on any play. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Looking for the deep pass down the right side. Looks like he might have had another option out there, John. But he never saw him. He has to make better reads after it. A little over a minute left. I don't think they have a choice. They have to go for it. Looking downfield, gets away the off-balance throw. And it's intercepted. He saw the single coverage, let it go, but the defense was there to pick it off. This is what I would call in this situation. So they have first and ten here. Is it right? Great play in the backfield. Good work by the defensive line there. They got off the ball, got penetration, shut off those running lanes. He was looking for a hole, but the only thing he saw was a massive wall of defenders. Aimed it off to the back. 
Kane takes him down at the 40-yard line. Picked up nine on the play. Seven yards to go. Brett Favre was clearly the standout tonight and wins our horse trailer player of the game. They come out of the nickel. Green. Nice play face with the pass. And John is still attacking through the air. You got to wonder why. That's why you have a running game for situations like this. And you know those big guys up front love to run block. They can't quite close this one out. They'll have to punt it away, and clearly the opposition will do everything they can to block it. Here's the punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Watch that game clock. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. Green Bay with six defensive backs. Looking for an option. Throws it. Great throw. Harris stops him at the 34-yard line. Good-looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. He'll pass on first down. Looking for a receiver. Throws this one off balance. Kenzie makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from it. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. There's the final go. The final score is Green Bay 27. Chicago 17.